and the NFLPA, the Players Association, they've come to an agreement after about a couple of weeks. The the, the witch hunt for Deshaun Watson, um, the lynching of Deshaun Watson has come to an end. We can finally move on. Um, and we know what just happened. When they, they got the third party, the arbitrator to come in there, um, I think the, what the, I forgot what the lady's name was, the judge, where she decided based off the NFL's track record of punishment and based off this not being a criminal case, six games she thought was suitable. Well, the general public, and you know who I'm talking about when I say the general public, majority of a lot of people felt like he got a slap on the wrist and six games wasn't enough. Mind you, he didn't even play a whole year. He already missed a whole year. Never did any time in jail. Never. You can't show me a mugshot. Anything that he did, rather you think he's a creep or not, nothing he did was technically criminal. Show me a mugshot of Deshaun Watson. Show me him in cuffs, a, a, a rap sheet, his ghetto report card. You don't have none. So they gave, they gave him six games. The public didn't like it. They The NFL, to save face with the league coming back around the corner, they had to do something to make themselves look better because they feel like they have to be the moral compass of society. When in general, the NFL's job is just to entertain us. You know, even when people stop watching because of Kaepernick or what I, in the, in the game itself, how many people have stopped, started back watching football because of gambling in recent years? The ratings have been back up because now you can gamble. Speaking of that, Calvin Ridley's the one who should really be mad. He got a whole year at home, and all he did was gamble where it's legal to gamble <laughs> in his state that he lives in. Uh, so it's a lot of, you know, uh, ironic cases. But, yeah, they, they were going to overpunish Deshaun Watson, criminal case or not, because the other guys that they didn't punish in the public's eyes, public opinion, court of public opinion, didn't think got the right, the right punishment. Ray Rice, Greg Hardy, whoever it may be, guys who actually had criminal offenses got less games than Deshaun Watson. And the arbitrator even admitted, the NFL just wants to do this to make themselves look good. So Because people kept pushing the narrative, oh, the NFL hates women. The NFL doesn't like women. Every team has a cheerleading squad. A lot of teams have female coaches. Uh, the Raiders just hired a female, a female president or whatever in the front office. It's not that the NFL doesn't care about women. The NFL doesn't care about what these players do in their personal lives. And why should they? Does your job really care about what you do in your personal life once you clock out and go out the door? I think not. I think not. They could care less. As long as you come to work on time every day, when you're obligated and you perform at a high level for based off what they're paying you, that's all they care about. Before all of this social media and national news coverage and all of this stuff... You didn't know what these players were doing when they went home, you know, and it's always been that saying you got to be a little crazy to play football, especially pro football. You ever take back a punt? <laughs> you got to be a little crazy to do this. So, yeah, it's not surprising to me that some of these guys who play pro football are a little wacky. You know, what I mean, like this, this, this is a sport where you got two, three hundred pound men running at each other at 100 miles an hour like Roman gladiators. I'm not justifying their actions, but I mean, yeah, we got crazy people we work with here in the real world. Some of your coworkers rape their wives, beat girls, do this, do that, pedophilia, all kind of stuff. You don't know because they come to work and they put on their professional face and they do their job. You know, and now the NFL is being held to be the moral compass of society. They must punish and do the right thing and put their cape on and. Roger Goodell had to save himself also because he's always under a lot of scrutiny as the commissioner. Um, so he did what he had to do. But it's ironic. Just look at this is like a story out of Walt Disney or Netflix or something. He comes back. The first team he's going to play is his own team, the Houston Texans, it's for the team that drafted him, the team who was supporting him and had him. They gave him a, a private suite downtown so he could have these massages and privacy so his girl wouldn't know about it. The team that drafted him, the team that gave him the big contract, and then when he decided not to play, they this story just came out of nowhere. And that's when the NFL, like I say, it's all about marketing and politics. They're going to gas that game up. It's probably, right now, it's scheduled for whatever. Guarantee you they'll flex it. NBC will get it on Sunday Night Football, and it'll break numbers. Deshaun Watson coming back to play the Texans. You know what I mean? 
what's the crowd gonna say? Oh, are, are the fans fickle. He he performed at the Jaguars preseason game last week, and fans in the crowd were calling him a sick fuck. They were saying, "You sick fuck, you sick fuck." I'm like, "Whoa, they're gonna give him like the Ray Lewis treatment." You know what I mean? And technically, he didn't do anything criminal. You know what I mean? Like, I think people don't read. They look at headlines and they think, oh, he must have raped 20-something women. No. Show me a mugshot. Show me him in handcuffs. He did not do a day in jail since this came out. So I think 11 games is a little bit of a reach, in my opinion. But you know what they do. So they'll have him come back against the Texans. It'll be all, you know, storyline-driven is exactly what the NFL wanted. It's not a coincidence. I, I've not. Been, I've never seen. Usually, they give a guy a suspension. It's like two games, six games, eight games. It's usually an even number. I don't know where the hell it came from with eleven, but it's not a, a coincidence that he's coming back to play the Texans in December, December six or whatever. Not a coincidence at all. So there you have it. I hope um, these people, these white folks, and some of these people. You got what you wanted. That's close enough to a year. 17 games, 17 weeks or whatever, 18 weeks. He's missing 11 of them. So is that good enough for you guys now? He already missed a year. I just don't see what him missing a year of football. What is that going to do? <laughs> I mean, if that's not going to probably stop his behavior. He is who he is. He likes what he likes. You know, but until you can show me that what he did was criminal, I still don't think this is much of a big deal but that's just my opinion uh let me know what y'all think deshaun watson getting 11 games um and the nflpa agreed with this the players association um i guess they couldn't come up with anything better the nfl wasn't going to give him anything less they probably wanted to give him more maybe this is what pa the nfl pa had to talk them down from giving him a whole year to to this so it is what it is